The most common type of graph is the line graph. Line graphs often show trends over time. For example, how does the temperature change throughout an August day in Kelowna? We note that for every properly done line graph, we have a main title describing the graph, a title and scale along the bottom, and a title and scale along the side. From this graph, we can see that at 6 a.m., we draw a line across and see that the temperature is about 15 degrees. And then at 8 a.m., the temperature is a bit higher. A line across and we see that it's about 18 degrees. The high of the day, that is, the highest temperature for this day, is at 4 p.m. And it's about, line across, 35 degrees. And then the temperature starts to fall a bit as we head into the evening. Our graph is a nice way to see how the temperature changes throughout the day. It moves up gradually until about noon, and then the sun starts to heat things up a bit more quickly between noon and 4 p.m., and then the temperature starts to drop as the sun becomes less direct. A good overall picture of this situation. What if we were given another set of data for comparison? A table with temperature from a day in November. We can look at this data, but we realize that looking at a table isn't nearly as helpful as making a graph. So let's add this same data to our existing graph, making it a double line graph. When the time is 6 a.m., we see that the temperature is 5 degrees. So we intersect here and here, and we put our dot. When the time is 8 a.m., we can see that the temperature is 6 degrees. So we intersect here and put another dot. In the same way, we plot the remaining dots on the graph. It is to be a line graph, so our next step would be to join our dots with lines. Then we label the two graphs so we know which is which. And there we go. We have a double line graph two line graphs on the same axes. In this tutorial, we looked at a line graph and then a double line graph. We determined how to read a line graph, identifying what each dot represents, and then we plotted some dots onto a line graph from a data table. We can definitely see how a line graph makes it easier to appreciate trends versus the data in a table form.